In the last two videos of this playlist, we derived the following two theorems. And we did this using axioms. This video will use perfect induction to show that these theorems are correct. Before we start, let's remind ourselves of the logic or and logic and truth tables and Boolean representation. Logic or is f equals a or b and and is f equals a and b. And here we can see the truth tables for both. Let's have a look at this here, a or a and b. And we're going to produce a truth table and here are the possible combinations of a and b. And we're going to look at the column a and b. So we're going to and together the a's with the b's and we can see for all of the ones I'm looking at now we get a zero at the output but for the last one where they're both ones we get a one at the output. Now what we're going to do we're going to have a look at what happens when we or the a with the a and b. In other words this column is going to be odd with this column here. So we can say that will give us a zero 0 or 0 gives us a 0, 1 or 0 will give us a 1, and finally when they're both 1s we get a 1. Now if we have a look at this column and compare it to this column here, we can see that in fact they're exactly the same. Therefore the theorem A or A or B we can see is A because this column and this column are identical. And this approach is called perfect induction. When we use a truth table like this, it's referred to as perfect induction. Let's have a look at the following theorem, which minimizes to A or B. And again, we'll use the perfect induction method to show that this is correct. Here I've got a column that's not A. So if I have a look at what happens when we have A, you can see the not A is the opposite. Then what we can do, we can have a look at what not A and B is, which means anding these together. And here you can see that I have a 1 here, and all of the others will obviously give us a 0, because you need two 1s for a 1. Now what we'll do, we'll have a look at the final column of this truth table, which means we're going to or together this column here, as the or, with this column. So those two will give us a 0, a 0 or a 1 will give us a 1, a 1 or a 0 will give us a 1, and a 1 or a 0 gives us a 1. Now what we need to do now is look at this column. You should recognize that this, in fact, is the same column you would expect for an OR gate. Therefore we can conclude that this, in fact, does equal A or B, because that's the Boolean representation for an OR. And we've done this using the technique of perfect induction. 